the classical world, you have to be very precise. Everything is very well metered. Um, you, no mistakes. The notes are all intentional. Sometimes in jazz, you make a mistake. You know what? You know what they say in jazz, Rose Roast? We say, close enough for jazz. In the next edition of the manifesto, I'll bring you on as one of the uh, editors. Maybe if I make a second edition, okay? Yeah, but I'm, maybe Poppy's referring to Mr. on his Discord. I'm sorry, maybe. Are you telling me not to believe women? Um, I think that if you're, if you're making, like, you know, stuff like this, it would probably it. be good. Say it. Say it, Rose. Say, don't believe women. Be reasonably suspicious when heavy allegations are thrown around. Oh, now I know why Wannabe Sad Boy is <laughs> saying this is pedantic. Because Wannabe Sad Boy was one of the proofreaders. <laughs> You're very thorough to a fault and to a virtue. Hello. Hi, what's up, babe? Uh, yeah, I've been going through the... Uh, been doing the most terminal I think I can do for the past two streams. I've been meticulously reading through the manifesto, going through all the citations and the rest of it. And uh, today I started for the first time the Vosh segment of it. And cool. I'm at the Poppy area right now. And I just have a few questions about some of the, the, the claims you made there to see if maybe I'm misunderstanding something or maybe if there are some other things, some evidence you have that you haven't put in the document for whatever reason, or maybe just draw your attention to something that you, you may have missed when you put this together. Um, sure, what's up? Okay, so the first thing, and this is something you mentioned uh, in the very beginning of the document, actually. This is the first thing you ever mentioned about Poppy. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me read the, the excerpt I'm talking about. So in the beginning, you have a paragraph that goes like this. I think this is in the, the introduction. Um, mm -hmm. Irish Laddie would go on to have several conversations with me and other members of my community before being ousted for a long-term sexual harassment event that took place in my district community. To distance himself from these accusations, he changed his name to Vosh and began a YouTube channel in January of 2019. So here you're saying that Vosh changed his name and began a YouTube channel to distance himself from these accusations. And then you even say that the YouTube channel was uh, made in January of 2019. Now, um, I think he might have technically made the YouTube channel earlier because I think he was already making some YouTube content. So the mm -hmm. wording, the ordering there might not be correct 100%. There's that, but then there's also the fact that in the video there from January in 2019, Vosh spends, and this is like the first few seconds of the first ever video on Vosh's channel uploaded in January of 2019. He says that mm -hmm. like, hey, you may know me as Irish Laddie, but I'm going to go by Vosh or like Vosh video or whatever from now on. And... From, from what I know now, you broke the story about, um, the, about the, the sexual harassment thing in March of 2019. So this was after, um, yeah, this was after he had, he had made the name change to Vosh. So saying that he changed his name to distance himself when he had already changed his name months before this like came out, um, seems a bit strange. I, my feeling on it is that like, so even though I quote unquote broke that story, I broke it in a larger way, like to my community, but everybody in the server already kind of knew that there were like things going on. Um, so here's like a RTBA's post in his chat. Like you mm -hmm. can see that like in, I don't know when he started his channel, but like in 2018, like he's complaining about like Poppy having him blocked and stuff. So I feel like some of the motivation for him changing his name was to, to get away from that. It might not have been. I guess I can't technically ever prove that, but... Uh, okay, let me go through these logs that you sent me. Nobody thinks you're an angel, Poppy. You hardcore said it with Poppy during the Poppy shit memes. This is from 2018. Okay, so these are... Okay, Poppy has me blocked. Poppy feels threatened. Okay, so it seems like there is... And these are from, uh, yeah, from your server. Okay, mm -hmm. so it definitely seems like... Uh, in these logs that that Vosh and there was discourse about the whole poppy thing going on from before um but it seems like th that, that's when the main attention came to it right really when you covered it on stream right mm, that was when the attention in my like broader community came to but like the discord community are, i think already kind of known and been talking about this stuff because mm -hmm. keep in mind that the um oh this is i don't care about the discord shit so this is testing the limits of my knowledge on this okay. i don't believe that the vosh poppy stuff leaked because of vosh and poppy i believe the vosh poppy stuff leaked because poppy saw that he was doing it to another person pastel mm -hmm. i think yeah. that was the issue for why so like this kind of stuff going on is um like kind of was kind of known in my community and then like the very overt sexual stuff and everything like was he was kind of public about it rtba keeps spamming to tell you that um vosh's logs are all still publicly searchable in my discord if you want to look any of these up too mm -hmm. okay um okay i i i see how there the, there has been some like some internal conversation about this on destiny mm -hmm. server beforehand but and i think you, you would agree it seems a, a bit of a stretch for me right? to say yeah. that like well um it's a bit of conjecture, sure, but not impossible. 
yeah, sure, it's not impossible, but, but the wording here, right? To distance himself from these accusations, he changed his name to Vosh. So this sounds like it's like his primary motivation from doing so, right? Yeah, I bet it was. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I can't prove it, though, I mean. All right. Um, Someone in my chat just said this, um, that apparently White Nervosa had told him to change his name. I, if you want to post logs, that you can Yeah, so it, I, I've spent the last like hour on stream going through this. So what White Nervosa offered to do is that White Nervosa, and, and there, are, there are logs of this, and Vosh has acknowledged this, White Nervosa has acknowledged this, White Nervosa has apologized for this, Vosh has said that this was a dumb idea. But at one point, White Nervosa said that she would offer to, because by the time this broke, and, and all the logs were coming out, Vosh had already changed his name on Discord to Vosh Video. So mm -hmm. what uh, White Nervosa offered to do is that she, she would change, or she would take all of the logs and change the names back to Irish Laddie from Vosh Video, and then have those be like some of the logs that were spread around. Um, and this nice. is something that Vosh addresses in his thing, but once again, this is like White Nervosa thing. There is no evidence presented that I've seen that Vosh ever accepted this. And when Vosh made his Reddit post, which I'm going to get to in a minute, um, mm -hmm. talking about all these things, he, uh, he he never says that he did it at all, and he says that it was just a dumb idea. So I haven't seen any evidence that he accepted that offer. And in the Reddit post, the, all the screenshots have Vosh as a name there, and not Irish Laddie. Sure. Okay. There's a saying, uh, Rose. Are you a musician at all? No, I'm not. But try anyway. Let's see what happens. In the classical world, you have to be very precise. Everything is very well metered. Um, you, no mistakes. The notes are all intentional. Sometimes in jazz you make a mistake. You know what? You know what they say in jazz, Rose Rose? We say close enough for jazz. Okay, but then if it's you know close what? enough for jazz, are you gonna are it's you gonna close enough for uh, close enough for jazz? Are you it gonna... might be the case that like um maybe the name change was totally coincidental and all the sexual harassment stuff or whatever. Maybe that wasn't like a motivating factor. Okay. Um I, I feel like reasonable minds would say it was probably part of the motivation. Maybe it wasn't the motivating factor. Maybe that's a bit of a special mind. But mm -hmm. like I don't know if I could ever prove that, but I'm I'm comfortable enough yeah. with that. If it, it feels so yeah, it feels it feels like a stretch to me. It feels unnecessary to say. It seems like something you can never prove. It feels like that, that could have been done without. And to go to the jazz analogy, yeah, sure, you know, close enough for jazz one could say. But um, are you gonna are you gonna fix that for for the next time you you have a showing? Are you going to uh, to not necessarily you know retract an album, but let's say you have an album in the works that's published and you can just you know change a few notes here and there on like an already uploaded recording to uh, to reflect this new thing? Or are you kind of just gonna be like ah? You know, it's it's fine. Uh, I do my best. It's a hundred page thing. I'm sure there are probably a couple of things that I, I think somebody else pointed out one other thing that maybe wasn't characterized in the most fair way. I think it was relating to White Nervosa. People are going back and forth on that, where she says she actually did try to contribute to the project, but we rejected it because we hated her. Um, other coders have emailed, two other coders emailed me and they said they looked at her first merge request and mm -hmm. it was like some irrelevant bullshit bug fix that wasn't even a thing that was garbage. And that's why. Um, so I, I'm sure there are, I'm sure if you go through with a fine tooth comb, you can probably find a couple things that aren't 100% spot on. But okay. um, if my issue with people was that they were getting things like minutia wrong about stuff about me, I would be in a much better world. Yeah. Uh, I no, of course, and I understand, and, and that, that's something I've said for the, for the mass majority of the manifesto, you know, so far, once again, I haven't read past this poppy point yet, I've just read everything with poppy, I saw a few things that I want to bring up with you, so I'm going to go through the rest of it yet, but I think mm -hmm. so far in the previous parts of the manifesto, of course there are a few gaps here and there, and I've, I've acknowledged them when I've read through them, but I think mm -hmm. largely oh, you, you've, you've set out on. what you've... I said that Josie was, um, I thought it was her first major appearance on the internet, apparently she had She'd one other one Cedar on the larger stuff, podcast, well the Sam Cedar one all got like 2,000 views, but there was one other one she had that got like forty or 50,000 views that I wasn't aware of, so okay. that was another thing as well. I see, I see. Um... Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would motion for the fact that 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 this should be changed, both in the, in the name of accuracy, but also in your interest. When you have something like like a something like that, it's the very introduction of your thing that you now even admitting that okay, you can never prove that and that yada yada yada. You know, it's a bit of a stretch. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you wanna if you wanna have a thing like that leading in your introduction. Oh, you know, in the next in the next edition of the manifesto, I'll bring you on as one of the uh, editors. Maybe if I make a second edition, okay? All right. Sounds uh yeah, so that's actually something I've been uh, <laughs> I've been mentioning here there. But yeah. Okay. So, that's the one thing. Next thing, and I I really wonder why you why you didn't include any of this. I'm um, first if you're even familiar with this. Uh are you familiar with this thread of Vosh's, this post? Um I think so. That was the one where he wrote everything and apologized for shit kind of. Yes. Um, did you, did, did you revisit this when you were writing your manifesto? Um, I read it a while ago. I think I skimmed it when I was writing my manifesto, but. Okay. Um, because th th there are a few things there that, um, I, I think that, that are relevant. So one of the claims you make 
in your uh, in your paragraph here about Poppy <laughs> is this. Mm -hmm. Ian was incredibly upset at Poppy post-accusation, even though he had continued to harass her after his apology. Mm. And this harassment, um, th there's many, there's many different things that are brought up here. So Poppy mentions in some logs like a wide range of different types of harassment and comments made after this was exposed and after the apology and everything. But one mm. thing that kept popping up is the um the a mention of Vosh talking about uh popping poppy's butthole um and that kept being brought up over and over as something he said after this broke and after he apologized but if i go on to your citation there for for that claim that he harassed her after his apology i met with an image um of just poppy saying the screenshots of him talking about popping my bottle or open are definitely after his apology to me so th that's what that's what she's referring to when she's talking about harassment from after the apology we don't actually get logs of that message in itself however in a later citation for the mm -hmm. smearing and attacking her with his discord community if we click on that one and we open that and we scroll down to the sets of vosh logs on discord we see one message that is reminiscent of what poppy's talking about and it goes I bet, I assume Poppy's never been stretched so far that her bottle, bottle pops out a little bit. But this message was sent on the February 21st of 2018. So, before Vosh even recognized that what he did was sexual harassment, is when he sent this message. So Were this... the messages only on my Discord, or was it on his Discord at this point? Um, these messages that you've linked here are from destiny.gg. Yeah, but I'm maybe Poppy's referring to Mr. on his Discord. I'm sorry, maybe are you telling me not to believe women. Um, I think that if you're if you're making like you know stuff like this, it would probably it. be good. Say it. say it, Rose. Say it. don't believe women. Be reasonably suspicious when heavy allegations are thrown around. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, but the fact that she so specifically mentions him talking about popping my bottle open after his apology. And then the only log we have of anything similar to this at all is from 2018. That seems is a bit weird, right? That, didn't he make like three different apologies on this? Is it possible that she was talking about the first one? So I thought he did either one or two videos plus that Reddit post about it. And I don't, maybe she's referring to another one there. Maybe, but from my reading of his post, it seems like he didn't, he didn't acknowledge, um, like when you broke the story back in March of 2019, when he came mm -hmm. on to stream, he didn't acknowledge any wrongdoing. He didn't acknowledge that it was sexual harassment. So at that point, if he didn't acknowledge it was sexual harassment, why what why would he apologize prior to that? Because keep in mind the bottle statement was in 2018. Well, because my understanding was he made people claim that he made like half-assed apologies beforehand. Uh, but didn't recognize that all of his behavior was bad. And then as he got pushed more and more by different communities, he started to make more apologies. So okay. I don't know the timelines of like all of these. I could be off. So once again, um, so here we have, so we, we have one apology from the, his, his Reddit post, which was published in September of 2019. Then there is a video where he talks about it, which was uploaded in 1st of April of 2019. These are all the, the public statements I don't even know if I'd call the video an apology. I know for sure that the, that that the post is, but regardless, both of these are from well after 2018. I haven't seen anything demonstrating that he apologized before this. So the claim that like th this harassment that he he said about about Poppy and her bottle came after an apology, um, yeah, I, I haven't seen that substantiated, and it's definitely not substantiated in the citations you have right now oh, I'll, I'll uh message poppy and see which what apology she was referring to there so that's another thing because poppy in 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 you have a thing here poppy has posted as recently as a year ago a summary of what happened and the fallout she experienced afterwards there she mentions a bunch of stuff um mm -hmm. let me show she mentions a uh, boss sticking his discord at her um like weird harassment allegations that she was having incest with a brother morally neutral of course and like all of these types of things right um and for all these claims these are in the reddit post there is not a single citation or, or link or anything provided by poppy there despite her alleging that there are like logs of this and that she mm -hmm. has them but once again if she says he has them because i haven't seen them I can't say that these these allegations and these claims are substantiated because I haven't seen them substantiated. Sure, that's fine. So Poppy probably, I mean, she said that she has a bunch of these things. So um, I think that asking her for these things 
would be good because as it stands right now, nothing th that you have attached right now in this paragraph substantiates the claim that that uh, Vosh continued to harass her after he made an apology. Gotcha. Well, had a message pop and get those logs. Yeah. Um, so those were the those, those were the two things that uh, so far from my reading of the Vosh segment that stood out to me as being a bit weird. That the name thing seems very tenuous. A bit of a stretch, especially for being something so early, and the fact that we have some other evidence as well, which which points to that this is probably like a bit of a longer ambition he's had and wasn't, you know, kind of done mainly, as you kind of imply in the verbiage of that statement, in order to distance himself from the allegations. And then the fact that nothing I've seen here, um, yeah, substantiates the fact that he continued to arrest her after his apology. Um, but the, the rest of it that, that you've linked here, uh, the evidence you have matches up to the, the statements you made, but those two uh, seem not great. But yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Anything else? That's what I have for the moment. If I find something else on this, then uh, then I'll maybe uh, popping in again, but uh, we'll see. Popping in again? Yeah. Like a butthole or? Perhaps, who knows? We'll find out. Okay. All right. Um, be careful, okay? Yep, yeah, you too. Bye bye. Rose editing for Destiny will be like Han translating for Chewie. It just makes sense. Yeah. This seems a bit ped I don't think this is pedantic at all. I think th these are important statements. It makes a difference whether or not somebody harassed somebody before realizing what they did was wrong and somebody harassing something after they publicly said that I think that this was wrong. I think that's absolutely in any way i don't think that's pedantic and i think that's there's a substantial meaningful difference in what it says about the character and the behavior of a person um depending on, on which of those two claims are true and the boss changing his name is just th th that one's not as important it's just it's just silly it's just doesn't make sense isn't that the definition of pedantic no Th these are significant differences pedantic is like like bickering about insignificant things if I, hold on, pedantic, excessively concerned about minor details or rules. Yeah, I don't think this is minor. Um, but yeah. So hopefully it changes that. Or Poppy has logs of these things. Okay, I'm gonna actually send a message. If Poppy doesn't have logs, are you going to change that part of the manifesto? Question mark. Like I said, if you want to write a manifesto, you know to, I to call will be very thorough take a look take a look at what when i'll talk to vosh about it um i don't think there is anything at the moment that requires vosh's input yet all right we got <laughs> we got one two three four paragraphs in and we are two hours into stream guys let's go i'm sure this will be great okay okay destiny says he doesn't know if he'd go back and edit anything uh but if vosh retracts all of his I, I'm, I'm assuming this is fine to read this out I don't think this is a big deal if Vosh retracts all of his mischaracterizations of destiny then he would change that but yeah um you're gonna be disappointed with the rest of this too I don't know we'll see uh, it might be good but I'm gonna be as thorough with the rest of this as I have been so far let's keep going can we have Danish catboy break no no catboy breaks all right um, it's what, it's 30k words. Once banished from my community, Ian began to grow in his own right as a YouTuber. He also rebranded from Irish Laddie to Vosh in order to escape the stigma of his prior misconduct allegations and continue to produce video and debate concept across YouTube and Twitch. He fucking did it again. God damn it, I should have read the next line as well. I, I read the next line because I was going to take the step by step. I'll send him sniffing to all this shit. Not off to a good start though, I will say that. Um... So we were fine here, but then there were quite a few significant issues on the poppy bit. Let's keep reading. Oh, now I know why wannabe sad boy <laughs> saying this is pedantic. Because wannabe sad boy was one of the proofreaders. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sad boy. I like you. But I just I just I just realized that. I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. I should be the proofreader next time, okay? I'll catch these things. <laughs> 